वेलकम एवरी वन इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर्स वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ अरेथमेटिक मीन एंड हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड टूडे वी विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस टू अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ मीन कॉल द जियोमेट्रिक मीन सो दैट्स हैव अ लुक एट इट सो इट्स इज जियोमेट्रिक मीन इट इज डिफाइंड एज द एनथ रूट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एन नंबर्स इट जस्ट इज ट्राइंग टू से दैट इफ यू हैव टू नंबर्स देन द टूथ रूट और द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स विल बी योर जियोमेट्रिक मीन इफ यू हैव थ्री नंबर्स देन द क्यूब रूट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ थ्री नंबर्स विल बी द जियोमेट्रिक मीन इफ यू हैव फोर नंबर्स देन फोर्थ रूट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दोज फोर नंबर्स विल बी द जियोमेट्रिक मीन फॉर नाउ लेट एस जस्ट कंसिडर टू नंबर्स लेट्स ए वी हैव एनी टू जनरल नंबर्स ए एंड बी देन जियोमेट्रिक मीन इज द एन एथ रूट दैट इज द here since we have just two numbers so it will be square root of the product of these two numbers so a and b this will be your geometric mean let's say we have uh, two numbers 2 and 8 then the geometric mean would be 2 multiplied by 8 is equal to square root of 16 this is equal to 4 so the geometric mean of 2 and 8 would be 4 so if we have two numbers 2 and 8 the geometrical mean is 4 whereas we had seen the arithmetic mean would have been 2 plus 8 divided by 2 or 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 so if let's say we have a number line kind of thing and uh, let's say we have 2 here and 8 here then this arithmetic mean is kind of we are trying to find a midpoint which is equivalent to both this side so this length and this length would be equal so this is the arithmetic mean whereas the geometrical mean is 4 lying somewhere here so this is your am this is your geometrical mean so let us try to understand what do we mean by geometric mean or what does it uh, represent so one thing geometrically that you could think of it is in terms of area so let's say we have a rectangle of side of the two given numbers so one side is 2 the other side is 8 then what we are trying to find in terms of geometric mean is that what would be the length of a square such that the area would be equal so here the area is 16 now for a square to have area of 16 the side should be 4 so this thing is called the geometric mean so this is one way to think about it is we are trying to think of some numbers such that the area of a square of side of that length would be equivalent that to the area of the rectangle formed by these two numbers another practical example of geometric mean where we use geometric mean in real life could be when we are trying to compare two different products let's say we are we want to go play cricket and we want to buy a new bat and there are two options bat 1 and bat 2 now we uh, and the properties that we are measuring lies in two different range meaning that one thing which we are looking at is the rating that the bat has so the rating lies between let's say 0 to 5 and the another criteria that we are looking at is how many number of sales the bat is making so let's say uh, this has a range of 0 to 100 let's say per month or something like that that total number of bats either uh, could be 100 that is bought or it could be zero so this thing has the range of range of 0 to 100 and the bat also has a rating which could lie anywhere between 0 to 5 so we have to use these two things that we know about the bats and then come up with one number so to say to make our final decision so let's say in the first case what we have is this bat has a rating of let's say 3 and this bat has rating of 
whereas the number of sales that this bat makes bat 1 is 80 and the number of sales that this bat makes is 70 now let's say we didn't know about geometric mean we just knew arithmetic mean then what would we do we would just take the average of this number so it will be 83 divided by 2 which is 41.5 and in this case it would be 74 divided by 2 37 so this would be the arithmetic mean and we would say that we should go with this bat since the mean is higher in this case but the one thing which you could notice is that this is higher just because the sales are higher whereas the rating is quite low so the rating uh, is making a very less effect in our end result of uh, what is happening here so even if the let's say for this bat the rating goes much higher the rating goes five five star but the sale remains the same let's say 70 then uh, the uh, then the average here would still be 75 divided, divided by 2 that is 37.5 so we would still be choosing this bat despite of uh, the fact that the uh, rating here has gone much much higher but uh, so what is happening here what is the problem here the problem here is that we are using two properties which are on very different range numerical range so the number of sales is from 0 to 100 whereas the rating is from 0 to 5 so the uh, factor that we are using to compare arithmetic mean it is highly biased towards the number of sales because of its numerical range now let's see what happens if we use geometrical mean so if we use geometrical mean then what do we get here we get square root of 80 multiplied by 3 that is 240 okay and in the first case what we would have got here geometrical mean 4 times 70 280 therefore this thing would have been greater than this so if we had used geometrical mean then we would have chosen this bat because of higher rating similarly in this case it would have gone much higher it would have been root square root 350 the geometric mean and we would have again chosen this bat so now the rating is making much more contribution to our final decision so geometric mean in real life is used in such situations when we are comparing two different bats or anything you want but the properties that we are using they lie on a completely different scale the rating here lies on 0 to 5 whereas the number of sales lies 0 to 100 so if we normally just use arithmetic mean then this final decision would be more biased towards the property that is operating on a higher range higher numerical range whereas geometric mean since it is taking the product so it so to say normalizes this numerical range that we are working on so just to summarize what we if we have two positive numbers a and b then its geometric mean would be square root of a b and uh, the three numbers you have you have a geometric mean and b this would form a geometric progression and in our next lectures we will see instead of inserting just one numbers between two positive numbers we can insert uh, as many numbers as we like such that the resulting sequence will still form a geometric progression